Kenya is in debt and Kenya borrows two billion every day and it keeps on borrowing and borrowing so the borrowing ceiling has gone beyond common sense. So I would like to pay off the Chinese debt and the only shortest way to pay is by legalizing and growing marijuana for commercial and industrial medi and medicinal purposes. There are so many ways which I will go into details, I've already spoken, up, spoken about, but the easiest way mm -hmm. is to legalize, because the world is legalizing marijuana and it's a gold mine today. Mm -hmm. It's just like oil in, in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. So why can't we take what God has given us, which is natural, av available mm -hmm. and affordable, and export it? I've never smoked, but I intend to smoke after we legalize it. We shall suspend and remove what is not making Kenyan nation to move and keep what Kenyans want to. But it will be up to Kenyans to look at it and say, what do you want for us to have? There are countries without constitution. Israel is one of them. Uh, New Zealand is another one. Britain is another one, as well as uh, Canada. So we have parliament. I'll rule through parliament at that particular time. I don't like those things. You don't? No. At all? You don't I'm, I'm 62 years old. <laughs> I don't want to do what my children are doing. I don't have, you have any. I don't have any. Do you have any musician? Well, I know the young kids that are brought up like Bahati and empowered them. But uh, I don't have that. I, I have taste for Zairean music. Who is your favorite Zairean, you know? Nyoka Longa. Uh -huh. Yes. Favorite song? Where, where a song, no. But Nyoka Longa is my favorite. Of course, most of them are my clans, including Kofi Olomide. Mm -hmm. But Nyoka Longa makes me dance. Yeah, I spend my leisure time by uh, reading. I read a lot. I just finished another degree, postgraduate degree diploma from Nairobi University. I'm doing my second PhD and the uh, first one was honorary anyway. But uh, I've, I've done a lot of things within a very short time and I should be doing about eight or nine and uh, maybe diplomas and degrees put together they are 14. When I was a Chokora I was deprived of my life. So when I went to school, became a grave digger. I didn't want to, be, to dig graves forever in England. I didn't want to be a security guard forever. So I just wanted to go to school. I am a vegetarian. I don't drink, I don't smoke, mm -hmm. I don't eat meat, I don't eat fish. But my favorite is vegetables. They have their own opinion. Yeah. I they see. talk of things that I, I don't even know. Like. I, I can't say, but uh, they know better. Those are, that's that's uh, an end clone of, of psychological lunacy. Yeah. People singing and dancing, uh, trying to hoodwink Kenyans with stupidity. I'm issue based. I'll talk to you the way we are talking mm -hmm. and we talk on issues. I'm not going to be dancing and singing for people out there like those people you are seeing. After stealing from the same same people, mm -hmm. you want to go and excite them and pay them the money of stolen to vote for you to steal again. I think Kenyans should wake up this time and they should look at what they want. Me, I'm just here to do what I can do on terms of sovereignty. But if they don't vote for me, it's okay. I will have no grudge against them. But my life will continue. In England, I was a grave digger, security guard, a student, and, uh, and I shed tears throughout because of loneliness. In the US, I went back to school, and I've gone through traversed corridors of power, justice. At least in the US, I've been able to address congressional members, several committees. I've been recognized in the US more than any other part of the world. My wife is from there. My, of course, my children were born and raised in Britain, they are British. Uh, in the US, there's civility and humanity. At least I was given the opportunity to speak, and there people recognize me. The members of Parliament, the Senate recognize me, academics recognize me. But here, I don't really care whether they recognize me or not. I came to pursue my mom, who had been divorced when I was very young, and I found her after 53 years living in a shack. I also came to pursue my family to find out where they were and I found them and that was the best thing that God ever did for me. My father just passed the other day after he'd given me a piece of land and I gave him one of the best burials on earth and I'm telling Diamond, wherever he is, to reconcile with his father. When I reconciled with my dad, because my mother had been divorced and I, I spent a lot building my house before burying him, I spent almost uh, 2.8 million a small house, lead the village, and buried my father like a king. And that was the best thing, and the glories and the benefits I've gotten from that is peace. I'm now very peaceful. They should be very happy, arm themselves on the day of voting. Their future has changed immediately, I'm voted in. We shall, sell, we shall be able to sell enough marijuana to restore sanity in this country and give every Kenyan money. 
build infrastructure and make the youth happy.